grew up in Toowoomba, on, probably on the outskirts of Toowoomba. Um, we had about 10 acres there and had horses and so our lifestyle was very outdoorsy and I was the youngest of three girls so I was always having to hold my own and I sort of probably took a few more risks than what they did early on just because I wanted to be better than them at everything. To be honest, probably Olympic swimmer. It was just always, you know, my older sister was a great swimmer and I loved training with, going to training with her and trying to get as many training sessions as her. Um, once again, the competition thing coming in, but also having that connection with Susie, Susie O'Neill within our family um, and watching her in Barcelona. So she's our second cousin, so um, our grandmothers were, were sisters. Uh, it's a pretty loose connection, but at the same time, it was it was relevant to us and current to us, I suppose. Uh, when I was younger, I had a lot of superstitions. Like I had these disgusting purple socks that I won a junior world championship in, so I held on to them for many years afterwards. And then I decided that they were pretty gross, purple socks, and then maybe superstitions weren't the best way to go. I mean, there's little quirky things that sometimes I do, and I try to catch myself and say, you don't need to do that because for that very reason, if you're discussing purple socks haven't turned up in your kit bag that day, you know, you still have to go out there and race anyway. So as I've got older, I've dropped the superstitions. I'm just about to finish my master's in finance. So um, I've got some great books at the moment. They're finance accounting for managers and <laughs> um, auditing. So <laughs> I have a general rule that I can't, I can't read anything other than my university stuff because I only have so many words in me that I can read in a day with training, and so they might as well be quality. I'm gonna be broad. There'd be a comedian, a politician, and probably my eldest sister, because she's just as controversial as the rest of them.